So let's see how 420HC and I'll say it, lockback knives are relevant in 2024 August. Also, I will show you how to properly take care of the edge on these pocket knives. They are pocket knives. Primarily designed for outdoor use long, long time ago. Okay, so first, um, let's start with edge checking. I'll say it, Kaber Doja. This is actually one of my favorite knife. Twenty dollars, I'll say it, made in Taiwan, but. This is a really, really good example of how the pocket knife should be designed. Anyhow, it cuts into the middle. Back 110, right? It cuts slightly deeper than Doja. Of course, the blade is a little bit longer. Just a little bit. And then a real classic, back 110. This is also 420HC. Yeah, it cuts even deeper. But you know, there is no difference, I believe, in the blade. This part is ground a little bit different, just a little bit different. But it doesn't affect the cutting performance and the function. Now you can see, they all cut pretty good, right? Let's check out out of the box, out of the package, brand new Opnails Edge Performance. Oh, by the way, this is number eight, Inox Stainless Steel, made in France. Okay, let's go. Pretty good for a factory edge. For the record, um, I don't remember how much I paid, but the uh, brand new small Sebenza in Magna Cut, it barely cut road up tower. I think it only cuts first layer, or maybe it didn't cut at all. But anyway, this is also another really good one. Uh, this, I know, I need to sharpen it. This one doesn't cut at all. Yeah, look. This is still brand new on factory edge. And this is kind of typical for factory edge. Okay, so let's check out how relevant tower cutting demo is. 
Let's try cutting up meat. Okay, Doja. Pretty good. Back one ten, right? Uh, yeah. Now, who needs super steel and over three hundred dollars price tag? Back one ten, the classic. Pinel number eight inox they are all excellent. Now let me quickly show you how this kind of edge would perform on the meat. No, it still actually cut, but. Mm, Maybe you can't see from the video, but it's actually slipping on the meat. And this profile, the belly, is actually helping a lot. Try to cut uh, body fat. The uh, okay, it just slips. How about Doja? Back one ten slim. Classic one ten. So far, this is the best performer. Uh, Opinel.
they all work They all work pretty good, except for, yeah, Isra is not really made for this. So I think actually the weight of the classic helps. For cooking, opinel is, as you can see, because of the thinner blade stock. Opinel is the best. This is kind of cracking rather than cutting. A lot of people say they prefer non-stainless carbon steel, but I actually like this stainless steel version and you can't go wrong with classic hold it like this it helps not choking up Except for Opinel, they all suck. Sometimes when you're doing something like this, the locking ring rotates, so you have to be careful. Oh. Carrot, Opinel is the only one you can do it safely and without frustration.
Well, this is not the cooking channel, so I will cut the cooking portion. 